Subaru knows its market, which is why it's not a huge surprise that the 2024 Impreza is landing as a five-door hatchback only. If you want a sedan, you'll need to jump to the WRX, but if you're happy here in Wagonland, there's a bunch of nice upgrades for this latest model year Impreza. Let's take a look. On the outside, it's still instantly recognizable. The stars still align on the badge on the nose, but now the headlights feel a bit more sharply pulled back. They flow into the nicely pumped up fenders and then back into the rackish roof. It's on the inside, however, where we find most of the fresh appeal with this updated model. Subaru is no longer afraid of technology in its cabin space, so the Impreza can be had with an 11.6 inch center screen. Wireless CarPlay and Android Auto are standard features, and the overall cabin refinement means you'll find a quieter space out on the road. There's plenty of safety gear on board too. Subaru fit the Impreza with its eyesight system, so you have automatic emergency braking, lane keep assist, a rear seat reminder, and you can also add an automatic emergency steering and rear cross traffic alert. Power is basically the same as the outgoing model though. On the base and sport trims, you'll find a two liter four cylinder boxer engine that produces 152 horsepower. That's nothing to get excited about, but you can get excited about the return of the Impreza RS, which brings along more power with it. RS models stuff the 2.5 liter boxer four under the hood, which brings output up to 182 horsepower and 178 pound feet of torque. All models are backed up by a CVT and Subaru's all wheel drive system. But the chassis is stiffer, which is good news for fans of better handling. Couple that with the RS badge on the back, the increased power, and a simulated manual mode on sport and RS trims, and you have something that could provide affordable fun. Still, it would be great to see a stick offered on the Impreza, but I have to imagine the take rate is just too low these days. As Sean Tucker points out over on Kelly Blue Book, the Impreza is nicely updated, but the rest of the competition is pretty darn good at the moment. You have the Honda Civic, which is excellent. And then also there's that more dynamic styling from anything coming from the Hyundai world. With the Impreza, Subaru bets on its upgraded interior, hatchback body style, and standard all-wheel drive to help it carve out sales in the segment. Pop on over to Auto Trader, by the way, if you want to see what current Imprezas are fetching or any of those competitors I've mentioned. With the 2024 Impreza, Subaru is certainly offering a good machine. But perhaps if the customer could do a little more picking in terms of what they want with respect to options and power, it would be even better. There's a manual gearbox available on the WRX. Let's bring that down to the Impreza as an option. And then let's bring the hatchback body style up as an option on the WRX, right? Either way, the return of the RS badge is cool to see. And I know that I'll see a ton of these on the road anytime I'm back east visiting family. Subaru is pretty good about nailing the formula that the average four season consumer finds appealing. <laughs>